In the center of the Tokyo metropolitan area, there is a lodging facility operated by U.S. Army Garrison Japan's Family and Morale, Welfare and Recreation. It's the Tokyo Recreational Lodging, also known as Hardy Barracks. I think Hardy Barracks is one of the best amenities we have in our MWR portfolio. One of the things that we've got to pay attention to is recapitalizing into our programs, our infrastructure, and building into sustainable futures. The facility is located inside the small U.S. Army installation in Roppongi in the Minato Ward. It's open to soldiers, service members, eligible DOD ID card holders, and their family members. In early 2020, MWL completed a major renovation on the facility, increasing the number of rooms and replacing the furniture, carpets, wallpaper, and more. Hardy Barracks and the Akasaka Press Center footprint has got a storied history, and we want to continue that history for many years to come. What is called Hardy Barracks today was established in 1945 at the former site of a Japanese Imperial Army base. U.S. forces took over the site as a place to house troops after the end of World War II. The current six-story building was built in the early 60s. Another facility that has shared space with Hardy Barracks on the installation for many years is Stars and Stripes Pacific. The Stars and Stripes Pacific moved in with the American forces into Japan almost immediately. We're close to Yokota, Haneda, and Narita. And this serves as that central point where the newspapers are printed and then distributed, and then flown by air to all the other uh, U.S. facilities in, in Asia. Michael Ryan, the chief of staff of Stars and Stripes Pacific, says the organization has gotten various support agreements from each of the U.S. military services and bases in order to operate their mission there. The support agreement with ZAMA is the most important one we have. Without the support we get from ZAMA, the Stars and Stripes could not operate here. We could not perform our mission. MWR says they want to meet the mission needs at any garrison installation in Japan where they have a presence and be ready for a sustainable future. We want to provide you know, world-class service in one of the most amazing cities on Earth. It's important for us to you know, stay relevant, stay modern, and put our best foot forward. So I think anybody that had a chance to go up to Hardy Barracks maybe a couple of years ago. If they haven't seen what we've done there, they'd be in for a big surprise because it looks like any modernized hotel that you're going to find outside the gates or in the Roppongi area of Tokyo. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, I'm Aya Watsuji.